Hey everybody, it's Angie with Heart Wellness Coaching and it is Functional Friday. So I'm gonna bring you some, um, some tips from a functional medicine perspective. So I wanna to talk today about uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids, PUFAs. This is something I've been learning about for a few years now and it's really been eye-opening. Uh, we've been demonizing saturated fat for a very long time and it's really we're, we're we're realizing now with all the latest research that saturated fat is really not um is it's not the bad guy there it's actually a very stable fat um all fats are, you know need to be eaten in moderation nothing is just a free-for-all um, but the the one of the the worst fats are the trans fats the fats that they take a, from a liquid fat and they hydrogenate it and make it solid at room temperature, toxic, should never be eating trans fats. Um, and then PUFAs, um, which are polyunsaturated fatty acids, the ones that come from industrialized seed oils are highly toxic. So the seed oils I'm talking about are safflower, sunflower, soybean, canola, corn, and cottonseed. So three S's and three C's. Again, safflower, sunflower, soybean, canola, corn, and cottonseed. Those are all uh, considered polyunsaturated fatty acids, and they are they are less stable. They're seeds that they're oils that have been taken out of the seeds, and they are highly oxidized and unstable oils. They're very cheap. They're very plentiful, so they're in a lot of our foods. Most restaurants cook in these these types of fats. Um, almost every salad dressing, every dip, every cracker, every cookie, every chip is made with one of these kinds of oils. It is harder and harder to find products without these oils in them. And they are, um, if you've ever left nuts sitting out, um, in, you know, on the counter or in a cabinet for a long period of time, eventually they smell rancid, right? Especially the nuts that are cooked in additional oil, which you should never be buying nuts that are actually fried or cooked in additional oil because they're even, that makes them oxidize much quicker. Um, by the way, say hi to me if you're, if you're watching live. I'd love to give you a shout out and know who I'm connecting with. And if you're watching the replay, please type replay. Uh, so, so those oils, those polyunsaturated fatty acids are easily oxidized, they break down quickly, and that oxidation is not good in our body. That is very aging, it's not what we want. When those oils are in the seed or in the, the nut, then they are, they're in their original package and they have all the other vitamins and minerals that, are, that balance them. That, so they, they're not as, hi Chris, um, they're not as, um, inflammatory because they're being balanced with all of the other contents that are a part of that seed. But when the oil is extracted out of the seed, it becomes very um, easily oxidized and breaks down. And that is just not what we need in our body. So, so polyunsaturated fatty acids can be very inflammatory. And what's, what's happening is it's inflammatory. It, your immune system is what's responsible for inflammation. So your immune system is getting hit meal after meal after meal if you're eating these kinds of um, oils and if you're not reading labels and you're eating you're eating out a lot you're eating out you're eating processed foods you're eating way too many of these types of fats so what's happening is meal after meal day after day your immune system is is um, kind of um, being aggravated it's 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 inflammatory and you're creating a systemic inflammation and when that is the state of your immune system and you have systemic inflammation in your body then you are so predisposed to illness. And right now with COVID and people getting it, either whether they're vaccinated or not, people are getting it. And, and, and it's, COVID is not what's killing them, it's the inflammatory process that takes place that's killing them. And in most, in most cases, the people who are dying are people who have inflammatory conditions, diabetes, obesity, heart disease, lung disease people who smoke. And then a lot of people can be walking around and not have a disease yet. They can seem perfectly healthy, but their diet is terrible. They eat out all the time. They're eating a lot of these PUFAs and they have a lot of inflammation going on inside that they can't see. They might feel like, oh, I have stiff joints or, you know, I have, you know, general kind of muscle ache, but they don't think that they have an issue. They think, oh, I'm just getting older. So we need to really look at the sources of inflammation 
um, in our food and try to eliminate or minimize. I, you know, I used to enjoy eating out a lot. I don't go as, any, as much as I used to. And I know, you know, restaurant owners out there probably hate me, but um, it's just not healthy to be eating out all the time. We really need to be more control of what we're putting in our body. And um, those fats are a huge part of what's creating a lot of chronic disease. So my, my, my take home message is if you have in your kitchen, safflower, sunflower, canola oil, corn oil, cottonseed, Crisco, God forbid, get rid of them. Those, they should not be in your kitchen at all. You should be using olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, ghee, which is clarified butter or just butter or lard. Um, they actually are much more stable oils. They're natural. There's, they're, they're the most natural oils um, that we have been, that, that have been with us, you know, especially the lard and the butter. Those have been with us for, for hundreds of years. They're natural. They're not, you know, like machine, machine oils extracted out of tiny seeds. So those are the oils you should be cooking with. When you're buying salad dressings, you need to look for Primal brand or you need to make your own with olive oil. Olive oil is a great base for salad dressing and there's so many great recipes for salad dressing. If you get on Pinterest and just look up dressing recipes, there's so many great, fun, delicious salad dressing recipes on Pinterest. You can make your own hummus. You can, um, you, you know, you can make your own crackers. There are some brands out there. So Ciete brand makes a tortilla chip and a potato chip with avocado oil. Um, Mary's Gone Crackers is one of my favorite crackers um, that don't have any added oils in them. Um, so you can find some, you know, some pre, you know, pre-made things that don't have these these toxic oils. Um, but I encourage you to do a lot of, you know, cooking yourself. And and honestly, if you're eating out even two days a week, you're getting a lot of these bad oils in your body, and they actually get stored in our fat tissue. So there's tests that you can get done that tell you how much of your body fat is PUFA, polyunsaturated fatty acid. So they, those, those fatty acids are known to get stored in our body and stay there for very long periods of time. So I think people who are struggling with weight loss, people are, who even they're saying a lot of people um, that diabetes is closely associated to these PUFAs. We think diabetes is, is solely a, an issue with too many carbs, um, but these PUFAs are closely linked to um, higher rates of diabetes. So get them out of your diet, eat the healthier fats. There's a lot of, olive oil is, is just a, a miracle fat. It's really, really good for you. Um, so that's my takeaway. Um, it's, a, it's a usable tip that you can start implementing right away. I will tell you it's a little overwhelming when you first start reading labels and it's very discouraging how many things you've been used to getting that have these oils. And so I, it, is, it is a little overwhelming at first, but once you get used to it, once you know what brands to look for, it just becomes very easy and very doable. So happy Functional Friday. That's my, my tidbit for today. Have a wonderful weekend. Love to you all. Bye-bye.